Hello guys, Sports Fanatic here, back again, and today our new video is about top wide receivers in the NFL draft. And we have no sponsor today, I, I just couldn't get one, but hey, it's a Sports Fanatic video, so let's get into it. With the number 10 wide receiver, I got Equinemius St. Brown out of Notre Dame, try to say that. Um, Equinemius St. Brown... I think of him as a potential high ceiling red zone target. Okay, his pros are he's his height. He's six foot five. Okay, his second pro is he can work outside and in the slot. He could, you know, pretty simple. His third pro is he's very focused on catching. When I watched him, he's like he he's very focused. I'm not explaining. You just his tongs, his effort is sometimes not there. Sometimes you see him walking in the middle of a play. He struggles with physical corners. And he disappears at times. Sometimes there's games where you don't even know if he's on the field. And he's inconsistent route running. Like, you know, he, he runs the wrong routes on different play and plays. I see him as a round 3-5 to five guy. I gave him a C-plus grade. And his player comparison is Andre Holmes, former Raider. And now, Bill. Now we got number nine. My number nine wide receiver is Michael Gallup out of Colorado State. I see Michael Gallup as a vertical threat. His pros, he's a great athlete. He's very fast. And he's quick. Um, he has quick feet. And his route running is very good. Now his tons are he's a... Horrible run blocker when asked to run block. He doesn't seem to see the ball at some time. Sometimes the ball's in the air and he just looks around and he doesn't see it. And he hears footsteps, which leads to drops. Uh, sometimes there's defenders about to hit him and he just drops the ball to see his footsteps. Um, round, I see him as a round three to five guy, just like Equinemius. I gave him a B minus. Great, and his player comparison is Nelson Aguilar. Now at number eight, we got Marcel Aitman out of Oklahoma State. I see him as a red zone target. His pros are his good size. He's six foot four. Okay, he can run almost any route, and he has great hands. Like you really see him drop wide open passes. And he makes those contested catches. His cons, he's a bad run blocker, like many. I mean, you're not asked to run block that much as a wide receiver, but when he is, he's just not that great. He forgets to use his size. Lots of times, he could jump over like a five foot nine little midget, and he doesn't use his size. Um, and he has no burst. You don't really see him fly by guys and. That I just that's not his game. I see him as around two to four guy. I gave him a grade of a B, and his player comparison is Danny Amendola. You know, Danny Amendola is very reliable. At number seven, we got James Washington, out of the Oklahoma State. I see him as a quick gadget wide receiver. His pros are he's a good jump ball wide receiver. He can work inside and in the slot. He, he's great at underneath throws. When there's underneath throws, he'll catch him. Um, and he's quick. Now, his problems. His route tree is limited. Uh, Oklahoma State didn't run a lot of routes. They, I think they only ran like two or three routes. Um, he drops easy catches. I saw that a lot. And he could be a system player. They had a great running back. They had Marcel Aitman on the other side. And they had uh, Mason Rudolph at quarterback. Now, I'm not saying it's, you know, he could be helping out Oklahoma State, but that's one thing. He's a round two to three player. I gave him a grade of a B. And his player comparison is Corey Coleman from the Browns. Now, the next guy we got at number six, Christian Kirk from Texas A&M. I see him as a slot wide receiver. His pros are he has strength to push over corners. You see some plays where 
He uses his strength to get over corners. Um, he's strong, consistent. He, ha he has strong, consistent hands. And he offers good kick and punt returns. He did that a lot at Texas A&M. Now his cons are, he does not have a good catch radius. He has short arms. He tries to use his strength over ball skills sometimes. You see him um, try to push off on wide receivers when he has good hands and he should just use those. His routes were simple and he might struggle with NFL routes. Now I could see him go round two to three. I gave him a grade of a B and I gave him a player comparison of Farrell Cooper from the Rams. Now at number five, we have Cortland Sutton from SMU. I see him as a good jump ball wide receiver. His pros are he's tall, he's six foot four, he's great versus contact. You know, lots of when wide receivers are pushing up against them, he pushes back and he usually wins. Um, he's great at jump balls. Lots of times his quarterback just chucks it up and says, go get it, and he gets it. And he's a good run blocker when asked. His cons are he's slow. He struggles versus fast wide receiver, or sorry, fast corners. Sometimes he can't get out of his routes because he's not that fast. And the corner next to him is fast. And so he outdoes him. Um, he doesn't get separation. Like I said, when he plays fast corners, it's hard for him to get separation. And he has inconsistent hands. Um, I gave him, um, I predict rounds one to three, round, sorry, round one to two. Sorry, I'm reading my notes. Uh, grade, grade B. And I compare him to Kevin White on the Bears. Now at number four, we have DJ Chark at the LSU. I see him as a do-it-all slot receiver. He has effort, effortless speed. He's just so fast, he doesn't even need to try to get past you. He's not scared of big hits. Lots of times he'll just take the contact. He can make defenders miss. You see him juke some, wide, juke some corners out here and there. And he has great hands. Those are pretty neat. You need that to be a good wide receiver. Cons, he, he needs to work on his routes. And he's not great against big corners. They push him around a lot. And he relies on speed too much uh, sometimes. I could see him go rounds two to three. I'm giving him a grade of a B. And his player comparison is Albert Wilson from the Chiefs. Now at number three, we have a person that not a lot of people are talking about. Um, the highest I've seen him on the list is five and a lot of people have him at eight or nine sometimes seven and um anthony miller out of memphis he's a versatile wide receiver his pros are he worked with four different quarterbacks and he still did very good and he had the most targets on the team so that tells you he doesn't need a great quarterback his quick speed helps him run by defenders he can work inside and outside and he has great ball tracking skills. And his talents are his ball security. He had, I believe, seven fumbles. And he sometimes drops easy catches. Um, but I think he can work on those because lots of times I don't think he just focused. Um, but, you know, he puts his focus into it. I think he'll be good. I see him as a round two to three guy. I gave him a, a grade of a B. And his player comparison is Kendall Wright from the Bears. Now the next, oh my god, the Browns are making all these trades. Sorry, it's popping up on my phone. Okay, so at number two, we have DJ Moore from Maryland. I see him as a potential do-it-all wide receiver. He's very good. He has good, his pros, good combination of size and speed. Um, he's six foot two, and he's pretty fast. He's a great bubble string receiver. Um, they did that a lot in Maryland, and he did pretty well. He can catch from almost anywhere, you know. Up, he catches jump balls, catches balls that are thrown on. 
he, he dives for them, he's very good. His cons, he needs to work on 50-50 catches. Um, his, sometimes the timing with his quarterback wasn't there. And he gets pushed around a lot. But I see him as a round one to two guy. I gave him a grade of a B plus, And the pl- player comparison of Stefan Dids from the Vikings. And uh, fun fact, Stefan Dids went to Maryland as well. Now at number one, we got Calvin Ridley out of Alabama. I see Calvin Ridley as a potential, reliable number one wide receiver. His pros, he has good feet. He has great after the catch speed. He has great separation. Um, I mean, he's great in separation. He, and he has blazing speed. His cons are he's very skinny. He struggles versus big corners. They push him around too much. And he lacks toughness like Amari Cooper. Um, I see him as a round one a lot. Um, I gave him a grade, grade of a B plus. And his player comparison is Brandon Cooks with a little Amari Cooper in there. And that's my list. Hope you agree. Hope you maybe disagree. Um, say in the comments if you disagree. And all the so while I'm making this video, the Browns are making hundreds of trades right now. Um, tell me if you want me to make a video about that. So that's Sports Fanatic video. I'm out. And that's the video. That's Sports Fanatic video. Signing out. Hope you liked the video. Like the video. Subscribe. And share to everyone you know. Thank you, everybody.